Live from ABC News in New York, this is Good Morning America. Welcome back to GMA. Sun's out, fun's out, but the summer regulators are looking at a new question about one type of sunscreen. It's that time of year. The heat is on and people come out of winter hibernation for some fun in the sun. Before going outside, many of us will hit the store finding ourselves overwhelmed with sunscreen options. And this summer, there's a new concern to factor in. The FDA has actually recently called for us to really take a close look at these chemical sunscreens and see how they truly affect our health. To determine if you have a chemical sunscreen, look in the ingredients list for oxybenzone or octanoxate. Chemical sunscreens work by absorbing into your skin and acting as a sponge for the UV rays, filtering them. But the FDA recently conducted a pilot study of chemical sunscreens and determined that without further testing, FDA does not know what levels of absorption can be considered safe. We don't know how they affect our health. Those studies just haven't been done yet. The Consumer Healthcare Products Association, a sunscreen manufacturer's trade group, releasing a statement saying, sunscreen manufacturers, FDA, and dermatologists are aligned on the goal of protecting the public from the harmful effects of the sun pointing out that the authors of the FDA study say these results do not indicate that individuals should refrain from the use of sunscreen. Choose whatever sunscreen you feel like you'll use, but don't apply it from head to toe because we know that dose is an issue potentially with these chemical sunscreens. For people who want to continue using a chemical sunscreen, Dr. Bose suggests using sun protective clothing and only applying it to areas exposed to the sun. The other option, physical sunscreen. These use a mineral, zinc oxide or titanium dioxide that sits on the surface of your skin to block the sun. Experts say while they require more diligence in use to work well, the FDA considers physical sunscreens to be generally recognized as safe and effective. Whatever you decide to use, doctors say it's important to use something, especially for the little ones. Just one sunburn during childhood can actually double your risk of developing melanoma later in life. And the FDA is expected to have more to say about sunscreens sometime in November, but still considers chemical sunscreens as effective, and they aren't calling them unsafe despite the call for more studies. The key thing is to find something that you feel good about using and to make sure to use it. What are some of the important things to look for? I saw an SPF 75 the other day. I was wondering, like, is that overkill? Well, you want to have SPF 30 or higher, yeah. broad spectrum, water resistant, and the big thing, remember to keep applying it. People apparently only use about 25 to 50 percent of what you actually should use with sunscreen. We're not applying it enough. a lot of layers. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I was really struck when I heard Dr. Bo say one sunburn in childhood can raise the level of melanin. I can't remember Doubles. how many sunburns I had oh, as yeah. a kid. But what else can you do beside wearing, besides wearing sunscreen? Well, there's, you know, easy things that you can do. Wear a hat, sit under an umbrella, somewhere in the shade. The shade is safe. Uh, and they always tell people, no tan is a safe tan. Well, if you wear a full coat of armor, does that <laughs> <laughs> You might lose yeah. like 20 pounds <laughs> dripping sweat in the sun. But the thing to remember is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in America is skin cancer. Oh, wow. And you want to make sure that you protect yourself. Armor is the new beach look, by the way. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So you're on to something. Makes me look bigger than I, I like it. Eva, thank you so much.